Hi everyone, I am Ishan Sharma. In this video, I want to talk about a few courses that you can take that will help you prepare for the job interviews that you will be having soon. If you are somewhere in third year or even fourth year of college, it's a great thing to revise on all the concepts that you've learned, be it programming, be it graphic design, be it UI, UX design, whatever it is that you are getting yourself into, being able to revise all the concepts just before the interview is going to be really important and that is what I'll be talking about today. We'll be covering about 10 different courses that you can take that will be affordable for you and it will also be the best way for you to revise all the concepts in the shortest amount of time possible. So if that's something that you're excited about, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe and let's get on to this video. So let's say you want to prepare for your Python job interview. The one thing that you need to do is to take a look at this 100 days of code course that you can take by Angela Yu, which is a great instructor. I've learned full stack development from her, so I can definitely vouch for the instructor. Uh, this course in particular talks about Python. It takes you from the very basics to all the way to pro concepts that you can learn. And I'll just show you how this course is structured. There's a total of 64 hours worth of content. Every single day, there's a challenge that you need to complete. And when you complete that, you will get to move ahead this is a great practice that you can do every single day you can just go up to twitter and you can be like hashtag 100 days of code this is what i learned today now if you develop this habit of learning to code every single day then that will make you a much better developer than someone who codes for two hours on one day and then doesn't code for the next two days so this course helps you with consistency as well as you can revise all the concepts if you are trying to become a python developer in any company so this course is something that you can definitely take you can see it starts with the day one it has some goal that you need to achieve and it teaches you particular concepts that are important to complete that particular project and then you work on that particular goal of that day and you do that every single day and that's how you'll be able to complete this course right here taking a look at what you learn you learn about data types and how to manipulate strings you learn about control flow that basically talks about you know conditionals it talks about loops then you will learn about randomization in python lists you will learn about python functions you'll also learn about hangman and how can you build that as a game then you will learn about function parameters how can you pass parameters in certain functions and it also will be giving you this task to make this game called a caesar cipher so that's what you will do after that as you can see every single day is a new project that you need to complete this is a great course if you want to just learn about problem solving in general in python so it's definitely recommended and i can definitely vouch for the instructor angela yu now if you want to become a full stack developer then you should definitely take a look at this one course by angela yu the same instructor this is the one course that i personally took to learn about mon stack development and it totally changed the way i think about web development in general she takes you from the very basics teaches you about html teaches you about css spends a lot of time trying to understand css grid model you know flexbox and other concepts and then moves on to other topics for example javascript dom manipulation it then goes into arrow functions and then goes on to talk about react js as well and then in the back end terms they talk about you know how can you make a simple rest api you will learn to use databases like sql as well as mongodb along with any project that you're trying to create. Few interesting things that I liked about this particular course is how easy it is, how structured it is, and you wouldn't feel like you are learning something too complex. Like the most complex topics were explained in the most easiest format possible. And that's why I recommend this course for everyone trying to learn to code web development. And if you can learn from recorded content, then this is a great course for you to start with. Now, if you go down, you will see that it talks about Mongoose, MongoDB. It also talks about authentication and security, which I think is a really important concept right now. It also talks about building dApps. So if you want to go into Web3, it also has a particular section on this. The great part about having Udemy courses is that every single time there's a new update, your course will be updated. You don't need to pay an extra amount to get access to that updated content in that particular course. If you've bought this course once, then you can be assured of regular updates and all the latest technology that will be taught will be available in this particular course right here. By the way, all the course links are in the description and in the pinned comment. So you can definitely go and take a look at that if you're interested to buy any of these courses on the Udemy platform. It also has sections on how to create your own crypto token. It talks about minting NFTs and this makes up for one great course that you can definitely take if you want to properly learn about web development as well as web3 in general. Now as a developer when you go for job interviews you will frequently be asked 
questions around git and github and this is a concept particularly git that's not well known to every developer out there people struggle with understanding how to you know merge branches how to go from one branch to another how to close one pull request and other concepts so you can learn about all of these things with the help of this course called as git and github bootcamp available on Udemy by Cold Steel. Now, Cold Steel, if you don't know, is one of the most sought after instructors in the web development space on the internet at this point, and he has some great tutorials. One of which is this course right here, Git and GitHub Bootcamp. Just going down and taking a look at the content, you will be having 17 hours of content, which starts from Git, basic in installation of Git. Then you go and talk about merging branches. You will get to learn about comparing the changes with Git diff and a variety of other concepts. As you can see, it talks about the basics of GitHub. You go to fetching and pulling and GitHub grab bag and a variety of other topics are covered in this one course itself that you can take. Now, most of these courses are only 300, 400 rupees, which I think is a great value for money. They right now have some sale going on as well on Udemy so you can take advantage of that you can head over to the link in description if you want to buy this one course right here many a times as a developer when you go for job interviews they will also be asking you questions around SQL databases and so understanding what queries that you need to use and what actually happens when you use them is crucial that's where you can take a look at this course called as the complete SQL bootcamp 2022 which will take you from the very basics. Now, this course is taken by Jose Portela, who is someone I learned Python from. He has a great course on Python particularly, but here he talks about SQL and how can you learn it from scratch. The course content is over nine hours, which talks about the basic SQL statements. It talks about the group by statement. Then you go to joins, you go to advanced SQL statements and commands and queries and whatnot. Everything is covered over here. SQL is a great concept that you can quickly cover up and it will help you a lot whenever you are going for interview rounds mcq wale round hote hain in which they ask you very specific questions so if you know about these basic things then you would be having a great advantage with you in these interviews now this next course is for people who want to learn design this course is called as the graphic design masterclass learn great design taken by lindsay marsh now this course will cover the basics of photoshop illustrator indesign just in general understanding about design theory it talks about branding as well as logo design so this is what this course is about going and taking a look at the course content about 28 hours worth of total content over here which starts from basic graphic design theory what is design in general what are some elements of design you know all of that will be covered up over here it talks about color and layout theory over here as well then you go and take a look at adobe photoshop and you go through the very basics of it then they introduce you to photo editing then they talk about how does intermediate tools in photoshop work then you go down and you will learn more about photoshop then you go to the next one which is going to be adobe illustrator and that's how this course is laid out right here as you can see now there will be challenges there will be projects that you can make and they will also have a place where you can ask your doubts and the doubts will be covered over there at the same time so this is the graphic design masterclass a course that you can take if you want to get a basic understanding of how design really works, learn a few tools and then apply by building a few projects. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and learning something from this, it would be great if you can hit the like button and subscribe to this channel as well and share this video with a friend of yours. Tag me on social at Shan Sharma 790. But now let's go over to the next course, which is going to be machine learning. A great course that you can take to learn about machine learning is this one called as machine learning A to Z, hands on Python and R in data science, which covers the basis of data science and then takes you into more automation topics, then talks about machine learning in general using Python as well as R, as you can see right here. Taking a look at the course content, you get 44 hours worth of material and going down and taking a look at what will you get you first of all learn about data processing in python then you learn about basic regression talking about simple linear regression multiple linear regression then they also talk about support vector regression which is really interesting decision trees random forest then they talk about classification so in this case you learn about logistic regression knn SVM, you learn about kernel SVM, you learn about naive base, you learn about decision tree classification and a variety of other concepts that are covered under classification. 
supervised machine learning has two topics you can either classify things or you can do regression analysis on them and both of these are covered over here it also has a topic on clustering so you learn about k means clustering you will also learn about hierarchical clustering so all of that is covered up in this course itself then you will get to learn about deep learning in which they talk about ann as well as cnn then you learn to reduce dimensions in a particular matrix that's also really important when you're trying to work with images that's where you would be using concepts like principal component analysis and linear discriminant analysis so all of this is covered over here this reminds me of my first year we learned all of this over there i don't remember most of it but that's how life is now another great course that you can take is this one called as the ultimate aws certified solutions architect associate 2022 this course is great if you want to get a job as a aws advocate or in just a role in which you will be interacting in the back end working with aws platform so this would be a great course to get an introduction over here now this will actually give you the official aws certification which i think is a great thing that you can use in your resume going down let's just take a look at the course content about 26 hours of content which will cover a variety of different aws services that you can use for example ec2 it will also talk about amazon s3 you learn about serverless lambda solutions in aws you'll also learn about databases in aws you learn about cloudwatch cloudtrail and config and a variety of other topics as you can see right here networking you learn about vpc over here so this is a great course that you can take if you want to learn about the basics of aws i too learned it from my seniors in my first year of college and it was a really interesting concept that i still remember to this date the next course is an introduction to digital marketing if you are someone who is going for a role of working as a digital marketer or just in general working as a social media marketer then this is a great course that you can take it's called as a digital marketing masterclass they have over 23 marketing courses in just one course right there all at a price of just under 400 rupees most of you while ordering pizza would be having would be spending this much money so i think this is something that's definitely worth it if you want to upskill yourself this course is taken by phil ebinar going down taking a look at the course content it starts out with the basics, understanding things like brand identity, learning about content marketing, understanding how websites really work. You will learn about email marketing. You learn about how to create a great copy. You learn about search engine optimization, which I think is really important in this era and time. You will then learn about optimizing and utilizing Facebook groups and pages which comes under social media marketing and you'll learn about Facebook ads, Facebook retargeting, Facebook for local businesses. Then you'll talk about Google ads. You'll learn about Google AdWords, Google Analytics. You'll learn about Twitter, Twitter ads and how do they basically work. You'll also learn about Instagram and how does the platform work. You'll learn about Pinterest, LinkedIn and all of these other social media platforms that you can see right here. It also has a mini course on YouTube marketing, which I think is really interesting. I would definitely want to check that out if I was trying to become a YouTube creator. But uh, anyways, this is a great course that you can take if you want to get started in this field in digital marketing. Now, this next course is something I think everyone should be taking. It's a course on business communication, talks about business writing as well as grammar. Now, this is something you should take if you are a developer, if you are a marketer, if you are going into whatever field after graduating from college this is something that you should definitely practice if you just go down here and take a look at what will you learn you learn about basic grammatical errors that people make you learn about verb tenses you learn about common grammar and word choice mistakes that you can avoid you learn about how to write effective emails and how to have a great conversation through emails you will also learn about how to create a great email cold pitch and you'll also learn about writing for managers writing a corporate or a personal blog you learn about assertive communication which i think is really important in business communication you will learn about resume writing you learn about photo and video call communication skills and just having these basic etiquettes and manners goes a long way if you are trying to work with clients that's what i have learned in my experience of closing clients in my agency market up so this is something that's definitely important so this is one course you definitely take if you are someone who hasn't had the chance to improve your communication skills you haven't done a lot of public speaking in your college years so this is something you should totally take a look at the last course that you should take is this one called as microsoft excel excel from beginner to advanced i think this is one skill most of us should have if you are trying to compute something if you are trying to do something logical being able to know how excel works 
and learning about its functions, learning about its various features will give you the upper edge. Going down and taking a look at the content, you first of all have Microsoft Excel fundamentals. So you learn about the basic Excel features and how does the interface layout really work. You learn about entering and editing text and formulas. You learn about basic Excel functions, which I think is really important. You will also learn about modifying an Excel worksheet. You learn about all of these different concepts right here that you can see. Excel 101, practice what you have learned. This is great. In this ca case, you can practice everything that you've learned so far. Then you will learn about Excel list function, Excel data validation. You learn about Excel pivot tables, which, I, which is really important. You learn about, you know, working with Excel as well as PowerPoint together. You will learn about all of these things in this one course right here. This is about 18 hours worth of content, which is definitely worth it if you are trying to learn Excel. So these were the 10 courses that you can take that will help you prepare for the job interview and get placed in your dream company. If this video was insightful, please share it with your friends. The link for all of these courses are going to be in the description. Go take a look at that if you are interested in buying any of those courses and always make sure the best investment that you can make is to invest in yourself. Invest in your learnings, in your skills, in your fitness, in all the different aspects that make you, you. This is not me saying, this is what Warren Buffet has said. So I hope that you will do the same. Thank you so much. You can tag me on social at Ishan Sharma 790 and I'll catch you all in the next video.